Hi everyone. Today's video, we're going to look at another math problems, which is to be a previous in Cambodia Spring Mathematics Competition in 2000s. And this problem used to appear the second days of the exam. How to solve the equation system of this in front of you, okay? Okay, let's go to 6 for the answer together, whether we can solve or not. Mainly, we can see the problem on the right hand side, like you can see x cubed plus y cubed equal to 35, and x plus y equal to 6. How could we possibly solve this, okay? How could we solve this? So, in order to solve this complex equations, we have to look at one of the simple way to solve it. Maybe you remember this formula, right? that x plus y cube equal to x cube plus y cube plus 3xy x plus y. Normally, a lot of students try to solve by taking x, okay, by taking y equal to 6 over x to substitute into the first equation. Well, it, you know, it might be getting the answer, but it might hurt because the powers okay the powers is huge is big okay it's big so in order to use the power we can see this okay it's a trick let's go together since we know that x plus y cube here equal to that that pretty simple and i know that x cube plus y cube equal to 35 and x times y equal to 6 so i just substitute the value of that into the into the formula about that I wrote it, okay? Technically, it's simple, right? So, I could substitute the value in front of that, okay? So, remain is x plus y and x plus y here. So, in order to make it easy, I let the value of t equal to x plus y, okay? So, after let, I let t equal to x plus y, I can substitute t into there. So, I got t cubed equals 35 plus 18t. And that's the the simple what the simple equa equations so from the um, equation system into one into one equa equation okay let's solve this so I just move um, the second sign to the first sign so all of that um, plus into minus sign over there so technically it's simple um, but to solve this, um, it's a little tough, right? A little tough. But there is squared easy by using that term. But this one is a little tough. So maybe we have the way to solve this by using, you know, a lots of way. But technically, uh, most of the time, I try to test for the result. So in here, you could test for the result. So you could, you could test t equal to plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3 plus or minus 4, plus or minus 5. Maybe it's it a little take times in this, but you know, it could be effective. Um, rather, you can, you can, you can just the other way, you can just weight identities, maybe it easier, a lot of easier in this, but this problem, I try to test the value. So let me use the testing value in there. So when I test the value, I know the t equal 5 is the root of the equation so after i know that t equal 5 here equal to that so i take that divided by t minus y so i got this okay or if i time two of this equation to two of this expression together then i will get the first the first one as i want so in order to solve this equation we have to make two of them equal to zero and then I got t equal 5, and another equation I got equal to 0. But sadly, soon we solve the second equation, which is less than, which is, you know, less than 0. It's a negative. If when that time equal negative, it doesn't have root. Okay, it doesn't have root. So the root only has t equal 5, and that's the case. So see, now you know the t equal 5 is since I let the y of t equal to x plus y, so I could get x plus y equal 5, and that's simply, right? Okay. 
So let's continue to this part. So since we are in this place, and I know that x plus y equal 5, and I know that x times y equal to 6, one of another our equation. So technically, it's pretty simple, right? I could just um, take this, this one. So I take y equal to 6 over x here, substitute into the into the expression there, equation there, okay? Which is simple there, okay? So I just substitute in there um, the value of y equal to 6 over x here. After that, just, you know, use it normally. So I time cross, I time both sides with x, so I got this. So making this, um, it's a lot of easier. I thought you know this, or if you don't know that, you can use data to solve this. So you will get the value of x equal to 3 and another one equal to 2. So here I got the root is equal to 2 and 3, and that is the answer. Okay, let me know if you have the different answer. So comment in the comment box below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to click subscribe in order to get more math tips and math outstanding problems. Thank you.